the lighting environment Four, while you're shooting the movie. We've had to literally time out every single sequence in the film to determine how long these sets are going to be, how long the sets of trenches are, which you would never normally do that on a film because you'll be cutting. No set, nothing was even begun until we knew those basic things. You have all these amazing people who are at the top of their game and everybody's having to pull on every resource that they know, have previously experienced or haven't experienced and figure out how to do this and to make it work. In theory, it's three shots, a shot of him getting out of the truck and the two shots for his journey. There was this pioneering mentality of like, right, well, this scene is roughly going to be about six minutes and we can't stop, so how? How can we do it? So we used ticker tape markers to sort of map out what we'd do. The land cannot be longer than the scene and the scene cannot be longer than the land, and so you have to rehearse every step of the journey, every line of dialogue on location. We built well over a mile of these trenches and the mud, the level of exhaustion just walking through, even for the film crew walking through those sets, was such a technical challenge. And because we were shooting in story order, we'd have to shoot in cloud to get the continuity from shot to shot, piece to piece. This movie is endless exteriors. No location ever repeats, so you're constantly moving through landscapes, and that means that we have to contend with weather, and the weather has to match. So this is our first day, and the sun's been out too much, which actually for us isn't so good, because we need like pretty specific lighting conditions, ideally gray weather. So we've just been rehearsing all day. Rehearsing? If we hadn't had the amount of rehearsal,